In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to properly bleed a master cylinder. So the first thing you do is you want to put your master cylinder in a vise. Second, you want to find the right adapters for the holes for your brake lines. Then attach some rubber hosing and feed them into the master cylinder. Next, you want to fill your master cylinder with brake fluid. Before you fill your master cylinder, check manufacturer recommendations to see if they recommend DOT3 or DOT4 brake fluid or the specialized DOT5. All right, after you have the master cylinder filled with brake fluid, you want to take something large, like a large screwdriver, and put it on your plunger right in the back. What you want to do is just start compressing, just like you're pushing the brakes. You want to make sure your hoses do not come out because you don't, do not want to be sucking any air. Remember, it may take longer to bleed a new master cylinder than what is demonstrated here. Okay, after you've bled the master cylinder, you can pull your hoses out and take off your lines. They w it will leak a little bit, so hurt. once you take these lines off, just go and get it in the car. Once the master cylinder is installed in the car, you will need to bleed the brakes. Remember to start with the tire farthest away from the master cylinder. We will show you how to bleed the brakes three different ways in this video. The first method is right here. It's called the power bleeder. It hooks up to shop air and it creates a vacuum on the line. We're going to go ahead and attach it to our bleeder valve. Okay. Then he will open the bleeder valve after he presses down on the, on the lever. Once that bleeder valve is open, a stream of brake fluid will come out. And you're just kind of watching the line until you, all your air bubbles are gone. And then that is when, you are, when it is complete. The second type of bleeding is with a handheld vacuum pump. So we're going to go ahead and connect that up to our brake line. It's the same as the other side. We've got a little bleeder valve. So he's going to manually apply a vacuum. Unlike the power bleeder, where the vacuum is made with shop air, this vacuum is made by a hand. All right, when he gets a vacuum, he opens the bleeder valve and lets the fluid come through the line. And it flows down the line into the canister. Where it, collect, where it collects it does not ruin the vacuum pump. Okay, this type of bleeding is called manual bleeding, where you pump up the brakes, when the person inside the car will hold the brakes after they are firm, the person down below We'll then go ahead and uh, open the bleeder valve once the person inside tells him he is holding the brakes. Okay, and then you will see some fluid come out. Okay, then he will go ahead and re-pump the brakes until they are firm. Then tell the person outside the car that he is holding. And that is how you manually bleed the brain.